Anthony Pompliano. Stop pretending to be a day trader and begin learning how to be a long-term allocator. Posting his status lines on his private Twitter, the creator of Morgan Creek Digital, one of the significant hedge funds in New York Anthony Palm Pliano advises Bitcoin holders to not be a day trader, but should begin being a long-term allocator. It appears that confronting the unusual ups and downs of Bitcoin lately, many investors also have changed their sentiment. Industry specialists have found that whenever there's one factor causing a decline or forecasting the future isn't too great, Bitcoin holders panic, causing a sell-off of their cryptocurrency. This top popular wager is directed at avoiding losses. However, billionaires and individuals that have an enormous amount of Bitcoin in their hands, they constantly hold and don't make any trades even if Bitcoin reaches death. To them, Bitcoin has real potential, it never expires and is actually an advantage to hold for the long run. Pomp tweeted. Countries are embracing Bitcoin and billionaires are creating them like candy, but you're selling because some anonymous accounts has drawn lines on the graph. This applies to each asset category. Stop pretending to be a day trader and begin learning how to become a long-term allocator. On the flip side, Pomp also points to the optimistic future of cryptocurrencies as plenty of countries are trying to adopt Bitcoin and make it legal tender, billionaires are also hoping to spend a good deal. Dollars to possess it. Market volatility affects the psychology of dealers. In reality, volatile traders have constantly failed to hold their own against anonymous accounts calling or reporting anything about Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency. The most evident example is their gigantic sell-off in late May. When Tesla abruptly ceased accepting Bitcoin as a payment method, while China issued a ban on mining activities. This massive sell-off has made the industry even worse as the costs of almost all of the best cryptocurrencies have been sliding downhill. However, it rebounded after El Salvador declared the legal tender for Bitcoin, resulting in a laser eye motion in favor of their cryptocurrency in a number of other nations in Latin America and Africa. More especially when Nayib Bukele, president of El Salvador established a strategy to mine Bitcoin using energy from volcanoes, plenty of positive opinions and support for Bitcoin were granted later. Typically, Elon Musk also declared that Tesla may accept Bitcoin again if it's mined with renewable energy resources. On the other hand, in the United Kingdom, farmers are also using livestock waste, cow dung to create power to mine Ethereum. While this usage of renewable energy isn't geared toward Bitcoin, it's opened up hope for the whole cryptocurrency sector as its environmental concerns increase. However, while the recovery and expansion have been penalized, the radical move from China to crack down on mining activities together with the attempts to warn about the possible dangers of cryptocurrencies from a number of big banks and regulators in several countries, once more, Bitcoin is on the decrease. Of course, short-term investors are the most nervous. Despite the guidance of Bitcoin experts as well as the course of the past, they still need to be certain of winning or drawing when making transactions in line with the daily volatility. Pomp, CZ and several others from the crypto community constantly give advice whenever they notice the sector is showing signs of selling from shareholders. And based on Pomp, stop being a day trader and learn to be a long-term allocator. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon as well.